already said, look, God knows what's happened. God knows what will happen. And so it seems as if time must exist. After all, God knows these, right? God knows what's happened in the past. God knows what's happening in the present. God knows what will happen in the future. And yet, how can you know what doesn't exist? And so surely to know something, it must exist. So past, present, future must exist. And yet, Augustine says, but from our point of view, time appears quite different. What is time, he asks? Who can explain this easily and briefly? Who can comprehend this even in thought so as to articulate the answer in words? The more he reflects on the nature of time, the more puzzled he becomes. He says essentially, what is time? Well, <laughs> provided that nobody asks me, I know. If I want to explain it to somebody, I don't know. I don't know how to explain what time is. I have a sense of it all the time, right? I, all the time. I, I think I know what time is, come on. But on the other hand, you say, well, what then is time? What is its nature? And I realize I, I don't know what to say. We quickly get led into a puzzle because I tend to think, well, what exists? Things in the present moment exist. The present exists. Does the past exist? Well, it seems like it did exist. But it doesn't exist now. Socrates existed, but no longer exists. Plato existed, but doesn't anymore. On the other hand, there are all sorts of things in the future that will exist, but don't exist now. So we're tempted to say, well, actually, the past doesn't exist any longer. It used to exist. The future doesn't exist yet. It will exist. Only the present exists. But then we say, well, what is this present that exists? Everything that exists is in the present. but. The moment I say, well, the present is now, all of a sudden it's in the past. And so I realize, wait, the, the present is really fleeting. It, it's fleeing toward non-existence at every single moment. Yes, the present is real, but it lasts only for a moment. It's instantaneously gone. And so I immediately start thinking, well, wait a minute. How can time exist at all? The past used to exist, doesn't exist anymore. The future doesn't exist yet. The present, well, exists, but for such a quick moment, it immediately goes into the past. And it looks like then if time exists, well, it, it exists only in this very strange, fleeting, instantaneous way. Now that introduces a second puzzle.